Okay, let's get into it. I heard, so I just, I think I threw my back out. What is it called, scatting? Okay, hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. I wanna go over what this bike is, why it's awesome, and why if you have something like this, you're gonna to wanna to convert it. Or if you're interested in something like this, why you should look out and get a bike like this to convert it. Turn it into the e-bike of your dreams. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I take bikes and I convert them into e-bikes. If you're interested in stuff like that, check out my other videos, think about subscribing, liking it, stuff like that, hitting buttons on the YouTube viewer. And yeah, if you're into other things like just sustainability, small electric vehicles, that, that's things that I'm interested in and things that I make videos on. Okay, so we got a specialized stump jumper comp. I think comp stands for competency. So this is a bike that I had mailed into me. Somebody bought it on eBay, had it shipped to me. I converted it and now I'm shipping it out to him. So this is a great idea. Like if you want to find a bike like this, even like on Craigslist or Marketplace, something used, you could probably get it for a fraction of what it used to cost. Something with high end components, still a great bike. Even, you know, even though this thing's 10, 15 years old, it's still a great bike and it's going to make an awesome e-bike now. So this is a full suspension mountain bike. It's got Fox shocks on it, Manitou, Manitou uh, front fork, hydraulic disc brakes, got the Avid Juicy disc brakes. This is a very competent bike. That's why they call it comp, see? I know you guys are like, no, it's competition. Okay, so what did I do to it? We added a 750 watt mid-drive motor on it. It's a Bafang BBS02. Puts out 750 watts nominal. That power is driven from the crank here to these gears. So this is a mid-drive uses what's called power torque multiplication. So you're taking the 750 watts, it's coming out here, but you're multiplying it by these gears. This is the main difference between a mid-drive and a hub motor. A hub motor is just stuck in here and it has one single physical gear. Same physical gear that has this in here, except this is now taking that and multiplying it. Hub motors can't do that. So this is why this motor is way better at performing in climbing hills because you're going to use this low gear to climb hills and then when you want to cruise you put it in high gear anyways if you want to see me go on more rants i got plenty of videos on ranting about the difference between hub motors and mid drives um, so i added a gear shift sensor in here that just cuts the power while you're shifting so you're not going to you know destroy your chain destroy your cassette back here and all your gears that just cuts power lets it shift gears and then puts power right back to it really adds a lot of life to this drivetrain for the display, went with the 500C color display. Great display, it's one of my favorites. Um, gives you all the information you want in a nice, small, discreet package. Uh, we put on hydraulic brake cutoff sensors here. Just two little magnets, when you hit the brake, it just separates it, and when those magnets aren't like close together, it cuts power to the motor. It's got a throttle here, so you could either use the throttle to go, or pedal assist, or both. You could use them at the same time. Battery, we've got a little tiny 48 volt, six amp hour battery under here. It's nice and discreet. Look at how stealthy this bike is. Tell, don't tell me this thing is not clean. I know that I like, you know, it's not perfect, but this bike looks cleaner than some pre-made e-bikes. I'd say than a lot of pre-made e-bikes. People say, oh, don't make it, don't get a custom made e-bike. It's gonna look like garbage. I don't like, I don't think this is garbage. This looks nice, but let's go do the performance test. Let's go do a Johnny Nerd out performance test, see what this thing does. Climbing hills from a stop, from a standstill, with a running start, and a top speed test. So total price on something like this would be about, you know, a thousand bucks. Maybe even less. Yeah, this would be about 900 bucks plus, you know, labor for me to do it and shipping. That could be a factor. But if you do it yourself, talk about 900 bucks for a freaking killer bike. You might be able to get one of these bikes for like, I don't know, five, 600 bucks, 1400 bucks for this thing, possibly. If you do it yourself, this is insane. So anyways, hopefully this helped you guys stay cool, stay calm. Let's get through this apocalypse together. Later. <laughs>